Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today folks, we're diving deep into the life of a true American hero, Master Sergeant Roy Benavidez. Chuck, have you ever heard of the term one-man army? Oh, absolutely. You're talking about that one time I single-handedly took on a buffet, right? While that was truly legendary Chuck, today we're talking about a man who embodied the term in a much more literal and commendable sense. Ah, Roy Benavidez. The very definition of bravery and valor. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? You bet. Roy was born in 1935 in Cuero, Texas. Of Yaqui and Mexican descent, he faced a lot of hardships early on. Both his parents died when he was young, which led to him and his brother moving to El Campo, where they were raised by their grandfather. You know Chuck, it's stories like these that remind us that heroes often emerge from adversity. True that. Growing up, he shined shoes, picked cotton, all to help his family. But it was a story from his grandfather about World War I that sparked Roy's passion for the military. I always think of my childhood passions. You know, like collecting stamps and, ah, uh, avoiding chores. Not quite as patriotic as young Roy's. Before enlisting, Roy dropped out of school to work. But his young mind was always set on serving, and in 1952, he joined the Texas Army National Guard. Before the war, he became an airborne infantryman, which is not as glamorous as it sounds. No airborne sofas involved. You're on a roll today. Anyway, Roy was then sent to Korea, his first taste of combat. Roy was above all, a patriot. He loved his country. His service in Korea only fueled his passion. He once said that becoming a paratrooper was the best thing that happened to him. It's that dedication and love for his country that saw him through some of the toughest battles in Vietnam. Vietnam was a crucible for many soldiers, and for Roy Benavidez, it was where his legendary bravery was most evident. Let's get into the thick of it Marco. Right. May 2, 1968, a date that will forever be etched in the annals of military history. Roy, at the time, was at the Lark Ninh base in Vietnam. A 12-man special forces patrol, which included close friends of Roy, was ambushed and surrounded by a battalion-sized enemy force. That's around 1,000 enemy soldiers, folks. To put that into perspective, it's like being a lone cowboy surrounded by an entire stampede. And hearing the radio appeals for help from the trapped unit, Roy voluntarily boarded a helicopter to provide aid, carrying only a knife and medical supplies. He didn't even have a gun. Upon arrival, he dashed a staggering 75 meters to the trapped team, under intense enemy fire. As if being in the middle of a hailstorm, only, instead of ice, it's bullets. During this daring run, Roy got wounded multiple times, shots to the leg, face, and head. But the story doesn't end there. For the next six hours, he directed air strikes, distributed ammo, tended to the wounded, and even dragged several men to the safety of the helicopter, all while being wounded himself. It's said that when he was loading the wounded onto aircrafts, an enemy soldier clubbed him from behind. Roy fought and killed the enemy, only to get stabbed by a bayonet from another adversary. Yet, he managed to fight him off too. And if this wasn't enough, he then exposed himself to enemy gunfire again to gather and distribute vital ammunition to the remaining members of the team. Roy's actions that day saved the lives of at least eight men. It's like something out of an action movie, only this was very real, with real stakes. When helicopters finally arrived to evacuate the last of the team, Roy, despite his injuries, made one last trip to retrieve classified documents from the body of a fallen team leader. He then collapsed from exhaustion and injuries. It's a miracle he even survived. In fact, when they got back to the base, he was presumed dead. A doctor was about to zip him up in a body bag when Roy had the presence of mind to spit in the doctor's face to signal he was still alive. That's some quick thinking. For this unparalleled bravery, Roy was first awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. But after the true extent of his heroics was fully realized, he was presented with the Medal of Honor by President Ronald Reagan in 1981. A well-deserved honor for a man who went above and beyond the call of duty. Roy Benavides, truly a legend in his own right. Before we proceed, a quick word from our sponsor. From the mind behind the History AI podcast comes an electrifying journey into the past. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. 
dive into a tale where Benjamin Franklin, America's beloved inventor, takes an unexpected journey through time. But with his leap, he unleashes a powerful ripple. Now, with dark forces lurking in the shadows, harnessing this energy to shatter and enslave the world, it's a race against time. Will Franklin fix the future? Or will history rewrite itself? Uncover the secrets. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Time has never been more fragile. On Amazon presale now, welcome back, folks. Now, life after such intense experiences. Roy's journey post-war. Roy continued to serve until 1976. After his retirement, he became a public speaker, advocating for veterans' rights and addressing the struggles of PTSD. PTSD wasn't widely recognized back then. In many ways, Roy was ahead of his time, bringing attention to it. And he was also passionate about education. Perhaps remembering his own early years, he urged young people to stay in school and get an education. Absolutely Marco. It's said he'd often show his Medal of Honor and say, I won this not by shooting someone, but by trying to save lives. Roy Benavides passed away in 1998. But his legacy? It continues. Military training academies study his life, his bravery. But beyond the military, he stands as a testament to resilience, to the power of the human spirit. A man who faced adversity from his childhood and turned it into a lifetime of service and heroism. Couldn't have said it better myself. And as we wrap up, we hope that Roy's story inspires you, just as it has inspired us. And if you enjoyed today's deep dive, do us a favor, subscribe, rate, and share this podcast with your friends. Until next time, I'm Marco. And I'm Chuck. Stay curious and keep exploring history with us.